back to my channel today's video i'm going to be doing a hair review as well as like my first impressions or my first time making my own wig if you've been following me for a while then you know that i've just recently started wearing wigs not even a year long it's probably been about six months that i've been wearing a wig making a wig is not as easy as they make it look on youtube okay i literally sat in front of my computer and my phone for like three days straight trying to figure out how to make a wig and I was like, okay, I got it down packed. I know what I'm doing. Literally brought all my supplies. When it came down to sewing down my frontal, which I will talk about, and my bundles, it was not that simple, okay? So just be mindful. When you make your first wig, you need to have patience. You need to understand that you might not get the first few stitches, but just take it your time okay that is the key take your time this hair is from me lisa off of aliexpress this is their peruvian straight i have 18 inch frontal 222s and 220s when i sewed this onto my wig cap i wasn't able to fit all four bundles because y'all this hair is super thick so i only have three bundles which is the 22 222s and 120 i double tracked towards the bottom of my wig uh while making my wig which if I would have known that this hair was this thick, I probably probably wouldn't have done that because y'all, this hair feels kind of heavy on my head and it's only three bundles. This is just what the 20 inch bundle looks like. I wasn't able to fit this in here. But at the bottom, what I did was I sewed a, what is that? An elastic cap because it's an elastic cap. An elastic band at the end of my wig cap because um i don't like clips i don't like wig clips at all i think that they pull your edges out for one and then they, they kind of hurt so for that reason i decided not to sew any of those onto my wig cap my first intentions was to dye this hair blonde i was gonna do blonde tips then a gradient effect towards the top but when i put it into the sunlight well not the sunlight but when i like really put it on my like light in my bathroom i noticed that the hair was like a brownish and it kind of had like tints of little golden hairs you really cannot tell on camera like on camera this hair kind of looks black but it's really just a dark dark brown that's why i decided not to dye the hair because you guys know that i'm not a fan of 1b and anything that's black i just black is not my color i just came to realize that i don't like black on me so yeah that's why i decided to just keep the hair the way it is there isn't any major cons on this hair but like i told you guys in my last review that i posted on my channel i noticed a lot of change when i chemically processed my hair my red hair I didn't do anything chemically to this hair so I personally wouldn't know what the changes would be but for right now it does not shed and one good thing that I did notice is that it doesn't have um, really bad split ends when you order it off of Aliexpress you want to make sure that you're really researching about the hair company because you don't want to order hair because hair is expensive y'all like regardless of anything is ever sent to me I see the prices and my mom does order my sister weave and Hair is expensive, so you want to make sure that you're not, you know, getting being boozled and stuff like that. Because I have, I've had a um, bad experience with hair from AliExpress prior to me starting my YouTube channel. I think it was my freshman year of college. I had some pretty bad weave, and nothing's worse than getting a sewing, getting that weave sewing in your head and having to take it out a month later. Because sewing usually lasts up to two to three months, so I didn't even make it a month with that hair. So you definitely want to make sure that when you do look up the hair that you know they're being honest with you guys which is what i try to do for you As like i said i haven't chemically processed this hair so if i do do that then i would definitely come back on camera and give you guys an update like i did with my lavy hair it just goes to show that some hair does take well to being chemically processed and some hair doesn't when you're plucking your frontal make sure that you don't rush it and you take your time because you don't want to end up making bald spots i will show you guys what the hair looks like up close this is just the part that i decided to do and i did pull out some baby hairs but it's gel down with eco styling gel another error i came across when i was sewing my cap sewing my cap when i was sewing my hair onto my cap was i started sewing this way and apparently that's the wrong way you're not supposed to do that i was sewing like this way i think my first two bundles and then i noticed because i like to stop and pause and try my wig on it was not laying flat like i wanted it to so i had to like kind of start over and unclip some of the uh tracks that were going this way so once i realized my mistake i started over and i started sewing this way 
apparently that's like very uh critique you have to be very critique when you're doing that because when you get to the top when you get to the top where your frontal is if you've sewn your hair out like this half the way and you take your frontal down and you like try to brush it down your hair will be so bumpy and nobody wants a bumpy wig so yeah the left side of my hair is kind of bumpy y'all so yeah when i said this was a trial and error wig this really was a trial and error wig but i think that it came out great to say this was my first time making my own wig overall i give this hair a 9 10 because i didn't have any bad shedding um it didn't have a bad smell when i first got it and when i let it sit because i did wear my other wig before i actually wore this one out and when i came back to it it didn't have a bad smell or anything like that so that's why I give it a 9 10. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know if you want to see me make my next wig. Because that I think now that I kind of know what I'm doing, then I'm gonna be able, I can be a little more comfortable on camera. I was not comfortable at all showing you guys how to make a wig when I didn't even know how to make a wig. So let me know if you guys would kind of want to see me do the next one. Because I think I know what I'm doing. But yeah.